Hey folks, it's Jay from Dumpster Diving Live. Well, it's a special day. Today is the one year anniversary of Dumpster Diving Live. One year ago today, June 22, 2019, I posted my first video to Dumpster Diving Live. Pretty lame videos to follow, but I kept it up. And now here I am, one year later, and I owe it all to you guys. If I wouldn't have kept getting the subscriptions, the likes, and the comments, I'm pretty sure I would have quit a long time ago. So thank you, and thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate it. I hope you understand that, and I hope you know that. In addition, ironically enough, today, I received an email from YouTube stating that I have been approved to join the YouTube partner program and can start monetizing my channel. Exactly one year to the date that I posted my first video. So two big pieces of uh, news today on Dumpster Diving Life. Who would have thought it? So in honor of that, in celebration of that, or those, I decided to go ahead and do a quick run. I'm really pressed for time. Hadn't planned on it as usual, but this is just too, too much to let go without some type of acknowledgement. So I wanted to go ahead and make this video and do a quick dive and let you guys know uh, the good news because you're a part of it as much as I am uh, so thank you again thank you so much so yeah I don't know if I will follow through with the monetization it was something it was a goal I had set but it's not the end-all be-all for dumpster diving life I I'll have to look at it and research it and read and see how it affects the channel see how it affects you guys uh, is it intrusive or the ads intrusive or the things that um, take that go into place of monetization um, will they turn subscribers and viewers away so that kind of concerns me but it's just good to know that I made it I did do the, the work and I make I met the minimum qualifications and I've been approved so that's something I was aiming for, and again, I couldn't have done it without you guys at all. I, at all. So, again, thank you. Okay, so I don't know how far this is going to go, how long this is going to go, but I, I had an idea. I thought, you know, why not just do a, a quick one and see where it goes. I'm going to kind of freestyle it today, but for sure, I know where I'm starting. I'm going to start at one, not the... Uh, plaza that got it all started but one of them that got it all started for me and this is that's one is this one here it really doesn't have a name it's just got a big supermarket uh, as the anchor store but it's got a fantastic Sam's a GNC and a few other places and a few other things mainly restaurants uh, but so I just thought I'd start at one of the older ones older plazas that I've been diving and just kind of go from there maybe I'll go out of town maybe I'll go to some of the newer ones I don't know. We'll just see where it goes. But in honor of the, my first anniversary in dumpster diving life on YouTube, I thought I'd make this video. So let's get it started. This is shared by that supermarket and the furniture store primarily. And primarily, I see a lot of this furniture store stuff and a swing and a miss isn't that the way it goes uh, these dumpsters have no no sympathy they don't care they don't care if it's your one year anniversary they don't care if you've been monetized they're empty they're empty so, okay I'll see them. now with those two being empty it's almost a given that these the rest will be empty so why bother because you just never know and I think this is the same trash that was in here the last time I came by. I know, I recognize those palms. So, maybe they skipped that one. But not these. 
And this one here looks like it's got a little bit of new stuff. Not a lot. I was hoping that was some kind of frames, but that's paper. Some kind of paper. Yeah, styrofoam. Anyway, but well, it doesn't hurt to look into the one of the bags. I know who that was hallmark store haven't found anything from the guys in a while i thought there was some that was uh greeting cards there for a sec but no no and no and we got the game stop a bit of a disappointment but i have gotten as mentioned probably dozens of times before uh, a couple of videos and some gift cards out of this other than that nothing okay Ooh, this stinks that was a rough one for, for a GameStop. That was pretty rough. All right. Well, I was a strikeout all the way down. So we'll go from here. I'll pause it here and see you the next one. All right. We've landed at Dollar Tree number two. I say number two because Dollar Tree number one is the, the first one I've ever dived, dove at. And that is in the, the first plaza I ever dove in. So that's how i keep them keeping in order until i swing and misses so monday june 22nd two days after summer the start of summer who would have thought they were all empty believe it or not but don't despair there's more out there these aren't the oldest ones uh, but they're some of the better ones typically so there is still hope see what we can find well we have landed at the at home series of dumpsters I already have some illegal dumping there empty as a drum I think I caught them all on collection day almost empty as a drum doors and used carpet and empty okay not sure where I'm headed but I'll see you when I get there. Well, there we are. We're pulling into the parking lot of SurePoint Self Storage and Mini Offices. The mini offices is the reason it's not enclosed by a fence. See the storage there in the little offices. Straight ahead is the dumpster in question. <laughs> and, and how appropriate. How appropriate. You see that there, guys? Of course, for my one year anniversary at Dumpster Diving Life, we're going to find not one, not one, mind you, but two matching chairs. Well, I'll tell you what, let's take a peek here. I did take a chance coming here on a Monday because the activity around this place is much busier on a weekend, obviously, for obvious reasons. So, and then of course, I'm sure management has their, this dumpster empty on Mondays to make up for all the activity they had on the weekends. But I'll tell you what, it's not a total loss. These are some pretty good looking chairs, quite honestly. So as chairs go, I can't do much better. So, and a pair of them. So, uh, yeah, I'll call that a win. I'll call that a win. Let me get it loaded up here. I don't know where the manager's office is and I don't know if they have security, but let's get it loaded up and on to the next. I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, well, there you go, guys. They're both in the car. How appropriate, two chairs for my one year anniversary of Dumpster Diving Life. This leg is a little loose. Other than that, that's the only thing that's wrong with either one of them. An easy fix, really easily tightened up bolt, made a little glue, and we're in business. Okay, I'm gonna go find that one plaza that I can't remember the name of or the location of. It should be fun. Hopefully, I'll see you when I find it. Well, we've landed at Lowe's. We're not at the uh, plaza that I was looking for. Uh, but I remember
remember it was next to or close to the Lowe's. And also remember this Lowe's was configured really differently than mine. They have the garden side blocked off. They have one skiff over there, but they also have the wood side fairly well blocked off. I didn't see anything in that skiff, but I'm pretty good ways away too. So uh, let me scoot on over to the lumber side see if the, my luck has changed since the last time we were here in Big Shirts, Texas. See you when I get there. Well, that was not too difficult. Uh, as I was pulling out from Lowe's lumber area, I looked behind me, and lo and behold, here's that little plaza I was talking about. You can kind of tell it by the really unusual configuration of their dumpsters. Instead of being against the building, they're out here grassy knoll area so uh, this one was locked I remember that the first time and he appears to still be locked he is but the rest were wide open I don't remember them being as full as this but this is where towards the end here is where I got the two ottomans and two stools um, mama has kept one of the ottomans one sold and this two stools are sold Good find. Let's see if the let's see if this uh, place holds up. The luck holds up here. Let's see what we can find. It's a very busy parking lot. A lot of employees coming and going. But it's not my home station, so I'm not too concerned about it. It's not that far from my home station. Uh, a little 13 minute drive down the road. A little bit more. It's not that close either. So, uh, yeah, interesting. So you'll see cars coming and going. And, uh, it's mainly food, restaurant. The other one, the, the furniture was found down here. I don't know if that was a one-off or maybe a regular occurrence, but I'd like to find out. I thought I'd be here a lot sooner than I have been, but this is only the second time I've come back. Since then, got a busted up bin here. This furniture's got, got some uh, cardboard, a lot of lime, some grout still in the bag, and that's about it. So, uh, I have a metal pole, intriguing, sticking up out of this one, and a big old microwave, I think. I don't know what the pole went to, but yeah, a microwave. Nope, can't quite get it. Yep, there you go. I don't see the little glass plate in it. Uh, I was told by an astute viewer and subscriber that those plates can be sold. Those rotating plates inside it. I'd just like to look at this pipe, this metal here. See, okay. It's like an old shower curtain. All right, well, not a whole lot there. But... I think it was worth the trip to come see, especially if you ha after a good find. So I can't complain. I already have two chairs from the from the trip, so there you go. <laughs> Always something with don't survive in life. You got to look at the bright side, even the chairs. Okay, I think this might do it for shirts. I need to start heading back to my home station. It's 3:45. And uh, I don't want to get behind. I've got a big dinner to make tonight for family and friends. So uh, I've got to get an early start. But I just had to get an anniversary video made. And uh, so this is it. For better or worse, we'll see. I don't know if it's going to hold up to the last couple of videos I've made. I tell you what, I've had some good runs the last couple of times. I had two home runs back to back knocked it out of the park i don't know if this is going to be the third one but you can only try all right heading back to the home station i'll pause it here and i will see you there okay after further inspection that was an illegal dump and that was more trash than anything so i wish i could have shown that to you but it was just so hard 
get that lid up and to keep it up it was kind of bent and not cooperating so there we are we're at the end of this one um i believe yeah i believe that's going to be a compactor in there yes nope that's a truck that's somebody's car in there okay this traffic is still backed up i see it probably will be for a while so i need to go and find some more dumpsters i'll see you when i get there okay folks well just around the corner from that plaza i was at where i struck out oh uh, there's home depot just right around the corner now i haven't had a whole lot of luck at home depots um and i've hit quite a few in my home station and out of town but they just don't have the skills out like uh lowe's does and other uh, home improvement places they uh, hardly have anything out. Okay, the occasional roll away, but it's usually tucked in a dock and protected by a trailer. Um, so I'm not expecting a whole lot back here. I do have one employee slowly walking. Nope, that's not an employee. Uh, so I um, just thought I would take a peeky peek, but nope. So far, nothing. Not a, not a thing. Okay. Well, that was a fun little drive all around Home Depot. Okay. The quest is still on here in San Antonio, Texas while I'm stuck due to a major traffic accident. Um, Maybe it was worse than I thought. But that traffic isn't moving. And it is miles long and I think getting longer. So I need to go find some more dumpsters. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, folks. How is this for our first? Right next door to the Home Depot is a little motel hotel called the Drury Inn. And uh, I saw this truck over here. I thought he was diving. I'm pretty sure it's an employee just parked there. But as I peeked in closer, I was a little intrigued by this enclosure. So I just thought I'd come around and take a peek. Take a little peeky peek. Looks like bed frames, a pay washer, a lot of boxes, and oh, there's a table. Kind of a uh, Portable, yeah, collapsible, large table, really large, and not in the best shape. So. No bed frames. Yeah. Well, okay. That's uh, an idea. I don't know if I'd hit it all the time. <laughs> the jury in. Who knew? But the closure was open, so it got my attention. All that stuff back there, but it turned out to be not so intriguing after all okay on to something more intriguing see you when i get there okay folks well as i was rounding the bend call the last place i checked uh I happened to glance up and 35 seems to be moving a little bit better now the highway is looks open and moving it was a parking lot there for a while so that means now that it's 4 30 I have got to get myself home. <clears throat> I'm now about 20 minutes away, maybe, but I do anticipating hitting some some slow spots up here due to that that accident, some some residuals. So I want to go and get I want to head and get closer to my uh, home station. Get a couple of hopefully get a couple of plazas knocked out, then get home in time to cook to, uh, dinner from a tribe and guest that we have coming over. So, okay, that's the plan. We're leaving San Antonio, we're leaving shirts, and uh, we got a couple of chairs to show for it. So, celebrating the first year of anniversary of Dumpster Diving Life with two chairs. Yay. I'll see you when I get to the home station. Well, we are back in the home station. And the first place, the closest place to me, 
happens to be errands again. But they are really busy. Got the dock open over there, have a truck over there, and have a truck right there. So this is gonna have to be a quick one regardless. Just hoping maybe to get a tri-effect out of this one. Have the mirrors, have the dresser, and then maybe one more thing. I see a wood frame there. Uh, picture frame there. Pretty nice, looks doesn't look broken. I don't know if that's part of Aaron's or Got the flag down there, which is disturbing. And let's see here. Yeah, let's do something about that. Get the grabber. And get this flag out of here first. I know the flag broke, I see it broke there, but they could have disposed of that in a better way. Put this in the car. We got 4th of July coming up. Not good. They could have did that a better way. I'm sure that was an oversight on somebody. I'm trying not to judge. Get the frame, the new super duper grabber from the subscriber viewer and all around great person elizabeth slipped slipped my grass and there you go a nice little uh little picture frame so not the haul that i was looking for at all but something and something's better than nothing so let me move some stuff around poke around just a little bit more and see what I can see. I'm out of pillows. Yeah. I can pick this guy up. I can. Yes, I can. Cables. I don't think they go to anything in particular. Nope. A lot of package material kind of hiding some things here. More packaging material. This looks like some kind of case. Um, could be something. Yeah, I like these. I don't know if it's torn, but it does cover quite a bit. I have one of them covering my son's box, uh, kick boxing bag in the sun, in the, out in the back. Got one of these bags, wasn't made for it, but it covers it perfectly. Keeps it protected from the sun and the rain and the elements. So I'll take this one and figure out if something else can be protected by, by it. So they come in handy. Just a big case. Vinyl, which is normally waterproof. So yeah. All right, I think we're about running out of time here. Aaron's. Yep. Not seeing a whole lot. I'm curious. Oh, I believe that was from a lamp, possibly. No. I have no idea from what. Okay. That's it. We did a good look. More packaging material. That was here when the dresser was here. And recycle. Okay. On to the filthiest. Dumpsters that I dive in. See you when I get there. Alrighty, we are now at the filthiest dumpsters that I dive at. And I'll tell you what, that little traffic jam was a little concerning. Uh, with company coming into town, getting kind of late. Here it is, four, almost five o'clock. A pleasant 95 degrees. When I left San Antonio, it was a 97 degrees. I just forgot to show you. So, here we are at the filthiest dumpsters I dive at. Boxes, boxes, and more boxes, and some cans. Someone's old and long used and forgotten grill. A busted up and broken bin, and that's it. On to Joanne's. Alrighty, rolling up on Joanne's. Has a 
pizza, pizza delivery guy goes zooming by. Whoa, empty as a drum. But do you see what I see? Looks like one, maybe two patterns. You know I gotta get them. Although, don't wanna let my buddy Jody down. Now hold this with an elbow. Try to stretch. Come on, come on. You can do it. Not gonna quit. as I swing it to the other side of the now I put it down I'd much be much better off putting this down and grabbing it like both hands but what fun would that be for you guys? Pretty dirty. He was at the bottom of that. He's at the bottom of that dumpster, man. I don't even know if I want him to throw my car. All right, there's your your uh, pattern number, but he's going in the back, way in the back, till I can get him out of this packaging. Ooh. Oh, there's one more back there. Do I dare? I think he was the one who stuck to the bottom of the dumpster. All right. Well, this will be the fourth pattern I get. I haven't even tried to look them up to see if they're even worth selling somewhere. That's not the point. Uh, now, not always. Oh, he's going to go in the back too. So, with his buddy, with his filthy buddy. All right. Well, there you go. Empty as could be now. Empty as a drum now. Took the only good thing, two good things in it. Patterns. Onto the next. Okay. Working our way, working our way. We're at Pet Smart. I've been stopping here fairly regularly. Having a mixture of luck. Looks like some kind of feeder. It used to be an electric feeder. Crushed, destroyed. Looks like we have a, uh, a trimmer there. I'm sure it's used for pet hair for trimming pets. And I'm sure it's probably not working or it wouldn't be in there. And there's the, uh, at least some of the guards right there. So uh, let's give that a try. But this time I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this phone down and get them. It's easier to hold up the, the lid. All right, I'll see you when I'm done here. All right, folks, there you have it. This is the Andes trimmer. Five, I think it was five, one, two, three, four, five. One's broke, I believe. Guards. And I could be wrong about that. Not working. There's your damage right there. Appears it has been dropped and came loose. The plastic did not break. It just came loose from under this tab right there. I believe that can be repaired. I am convinced that can be repaired. So, uh, not a big bad little find there if that's the case. And we have a schnauzer. I don't know if mama would be so inclined to learn how to trim him, but now we have the tool to do it. I don't know if I would be. It just depends how much he cooperates. So even comes with instructions. Who knew? All right, not a bad little find. Expect if I can get that thing working. Okay, on to the mystery dumpster. Okay, we we're at the mystery dumpster. The last few times I've had to bypass him, come back later due to delivery trucks and other divers beating me to it or blocking the way. But uh, no harm, no foul. Looks like a dryer exhaust hose there. Surprise the dryer is around here somewhere. Take a peek into specs here. Wow, an empty as a drum. I don't think I've ever seen specs empty. That's interesting. That was first for me. And the same stuff at the bottom. 
mattress the same yard clippings. Yeah, swing and a miss. Take a look at Lowe's, you can see them from here. I don't know how busy they are back there. They don't look that busy. I'll see you there. Okay, rolling up on the back of Lowe's, lumber side. My side, the dock door is open. Bins look empty, but you don't know till you go peek a peek. covered in concrete dust so no thank you okay that was a quick one i'm gonna start shutting it down a little early here i'm gonna cut down on the chat chit chat because i don't want to run over an hour get this this app seems to get upset when i do and it makes it much harder to upload so enough chit chat see you at the garden center side of lowe's Alrighty, we are on the garden center side of Lowe's. And interesting, I see some plants on this shelf. See those, they're dead. Or not dead and almost dead. But they're not in a skiff. The skiffs are inside the fence there. You see those. So are they waiting to bring those out and put those on top? They're so dead dead, I don't know if I would take them if I could. But the ones on top look like little trees almost. So that was intriguing. So I believe that warrants a closer look at the compactor, which is on this side of the gate, as opposed to the Lowe's and shirts. And I don't see anything at the top of it. So. There you go. I'll leave that be for now. Make a mental note of those plants sitting outside the gate, but not in a dumpster, but on a shelf, on a rack. So that tells me they're getting ready to be disposed of. I just have to be here when they do. Okay, on to the next. Yeah, I've pulled up at the winning tending tending business. Whoa! Oh, I thought that was a big chunk of concrete for a minute. Styrofoam. I have a lot of, a little bit of everything back here. Clothing, uh, half a chair, a water hose, garden hose, sing better days. A big old chunk of styrofoam. Some compressor parts, car parts. Uh, nothing to see here, folks. Time to move on. See at the old bells. Well, as I just drove past the old bells, talk about intriguing, but not necessarily going to be that good. Uh, another one of these um, pool, little kitty pools that uh, I have listed and sold before. Well, that one looks pretty filthy itself. I left one behind at the mystery house, I believe, for specs. There's so much stuff here. A lot of just trash trash. But it's really hard to tell if there's anything in here. Other than that, I'm not um, no. Well, there's a lot. I smell a lot of paint, a lot of chemicals in there. So, no, nothing here. I'm still tempted to take these pool liners or these, little, these vinyl pools every time I see them. They can be repurposed for so many things. But, uh, tarps and banners and whatnot, but it just doesn't seem to be the thing for people. I do see a yellow handle. I exactly what it goes to. It is odd, but a child's type of yard, like a playscape for the child. It's just a piece of it. So, no there. Okay, on to the next. Okay, something intriguing there. Could that possibly be four or five or six chairs? Bowling, wooden chairs? Would that be appropriate 
for the one year anniversary of Dumpster Top Eli. <laughs> Would that just be the, the, the appropriate thing? My goodness. My goodness. Pretty, feeling pretty flimsy. I will say this. But they fold. They do fold. This one doesn't want to stop folding. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I've seen better days. I have a display rack of some kind here. Uh, yeah. Actually, these are... Uh, I just got rid of... I sold two of these. I sold two of these. Three of these. Excuse me. They came from Dillard's. Or Dillard's. I say Dillard's when I say mean... Uh, when I mean... Uh, when I mean... Uh, Bells, excuse me. I guess I should move on to the chair, back to the chairs. I do not see me taking them. Uh, they are in pretty, pretty rough shape. And, uh, there's at least four of them. So you have a set. But I just don't know how much time we have to go in to each chair. And they really do not want to stay open at all. He's in a little better shape. Not much. I wonder how much tightening they could do. This one here's got a rotten piece of wood there. Wouldn't be too much to replace. I see the screws, bolts. I just don't know how much work would have to go into them to get them sellable and I'd definitely have to sell them so uh, or list them really low and let someone have a nice little DIY project man something to think about something to think about I will pick this trash up for them and put it in the dumpster we got a carpet here and uh-huh two children's bikes that really needs should be donated they really should have been donated that's frustrating really frustrating really aggravating to see that okay i am slowly running out of time on the app uh trying not to go over an hour and i'd like to finish this with a few things to say before uh, i finish it out so uh let me let me decide what i'm going to do I'll get back with you. I didn't even see that guy either. Okay, now I got another one. What to do with the high chair? Okay, <laughs> four chairs and a high chair, and a possible rack and two bicycles. I've got my work cut out for me. I'll see you shortly. Okay guys, well, real quick recap here. I just see the table too. Uh, it's laminate, it's a uh, particle board. It's uh, pretty bad shape. So it's staying, the, cur the uh, rug is staying, the frame is staying. They're hard to sell. Um, it's a slow mover. The bikes, unfortunately, have broken frames, both of them. That is not something you can repair. Uh, I know Goodwill does the best it can to, to get them up to snuff, but those were beyond repair. So that's uh, disappointing. Going back, two chairs from the shirts. A sure point dumpster. The storage unit sells storage unit in many offices. Went ahead and loaded up the four red chairs. Why not? It's chairs, chairs, and more chairs for the first anniversary of dumpster, dumpster Diving Life, including even a high chair. That's a first for me. So, from infancy to adulthood, I've got the chairs covered. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to end it here so I can squeeze in the last couple, and I'll see you there. Okay, guys. Well, in the interest of time, I am not going to show Burke's empty, Dee Dee's empty, Harbor Freight empty, um, Dollar Tree empty, Big Loss empty. So, just have to take my word for it. Just trying to save some time on this app. I'm probably going to have to edit this, some of this out too. There was some dumpster diving I did in, in, in uh, Shirts, Texas, and San Antonio. There was a big traffic jam on 35 coming back. So, I made a few more runs. 
I struck out there. I may edit out edit out that part. I was just trying to kill time until the traffic cleared up. So here we are at the end of the the one year anniversary video of dumpster diving life. What should I do? Who should I reward? Uh, more than one, more than two, more than three of you guys. What should I reward you with? I want to give something away to you guys as a thank you. I'm on minnow um, for for being there and making this happen. I couldn't have done it by myself. It would just be an empty video with no viewers, no subscriptions, no no likes, no comments. It would be a pretty boring place. So thank you so much. And please let me know how should I reward you guys. Um, maybe I'll come up with a little system. Who who responds first or who responds 10, 10 20, and 30th. I don't know. And what to give you. I have no idea. But believe me, I want to give you something. I want to reward some of you for something. I can't, unfortunately, I can't do it for everybody. But I certainly can do it for some of you guys. And I want you to be interested and I want you to... Uh, participate so uh again today is the one year anniversary dumpster diving life i'm sorry i'm beating that to death but that is a big deal to me can't believe i made it can't believe and on the same day of the anniversary youtube sends me an email and i am now monetized all i have to do is go in through it and click the right links and i'm good to go i'll do that this evening but first i'll do my homework and see if i even want to be monetized and make sure it doesn't interfere with your enjoyment of these videos the last thing I want to do is run off my viewers, my subscribers. You're the ones that make this channel what it is. And I'm more, more importantly to me is the community, not monetization. What little I make from here will not near pay near the, the benefits that I have got to know some of you and, and learn the things I've learned from some of you. So thank you so much. So don't worry about that. I will not let it interfere with the videos or the channel. Okay, guys. Hey, maybe I should send you guys a pair of these gloves. I just bought these. I hadn't thought about that. If you decide to go diving, let me know. Maybe I'll do that. That could be the first one, the first giveaway. I just got these from Amazon. Let me know what you think. Anyway, just an idea. All right, guys, you know the drill. You know the routine. Always wear your gloves. Be safe. Keep what you need. Sell what you must. And give what you can. Keep on diving.